welcome back to my channel. I am Debbie. In today's video, I have an unbagging from Paint Some Way. Paint Some Way sent me an email and asked if I would like to review some items. And so I um, did, and this is what they sent to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move this bag. I haven't looked at these. I just went ahead and opened the bag to make it easier. I have three diamond paintings and these all have a theme they are all holiday related so i'm looking forward to working on these give me some crinkling for just a minute sorry okay that out of the way let's see oh wow this is very thin this feels Wow, this is like fabric. It is. Okay, I remember what I ordered now. Okay. This is a Christmas stocking. Isn't this cute? So what you do with this, and it is more of a fabric feel because it is a stocking. So what you do here is you're going to diamond paint. It's very little to diamond paint on here. If you look, you can see the Santas. A little bit closer, you can see the Santas, and so you're going to diamond paint both of the Santas, are both the same. And then, what you're going to do is you're going to cut along the edge of the pattern, and so you're going to cut along there. This is not focusing. We have red and then white, there's white ABs there. There's a really pretty yellow and purple. That's kind of unusual for a Christmas color. And we have green and then this olive green and then we have um, some red rhinestones and they are going to go it looks like just around I think that's number nine that's going to go right like around here Santa's nose and so each of these what what it'll look like is I'm just it'll look like this when it's done but it's going to be you know one piece so that's going to be a lot of fun. It's gonna be something different. And I thought my daughter would like that as well. Then we also have, this is what actually goes for number nine for the nose, what I just said uh, this is. I'm not sure, this is number eight. What is number eight? I don't even see a number eight. That may be through here. That could be this little, these, it must be this like on the stocking part, that must be number eight, even though it's not numbered. Or here's, actually, here's eight up here for, for Merry Christmas. So you are going to have Merry Christmas, the letters, that's gonna be number, number seven, which is, and this is interesting. Okay, number seven is going to be this brown, brown or olive color. Now on this, does not have a schematic on this particular pattern here. And it's probably because of the fact that you're gonna to have to cut this out, but this it's sticky only where you're going to diamond paint. So that's definitely good. But I think this is going to be extremely cute and something different. I think different will be really good. I'll just have to number these whenever I go to use them. I mean, I didn't kit this up because there's nothing to it. Now on the actual bags here, it just has the numbers, which corresponds to the numbers on the stocking. And then it says LPDO3, and that's going to be LPDO3, which is down here. So if you keep your actual canvas from your drills, then you'll be able to find them rather easily. So I'm going to move this over to the side and then show you the other two. So give me some crinkling for just a minute here. That is a little piece of a little um, piece of something. 
Okay, so this one reminds me of fall. Put upside down, sideways. It reminds me of fall flowers. And it has a pumpkin down here. There's flowers up here. Looks kind of like mums in a way. I can't really tell until it's diamond painted. Um, but there's jars with the flowers in it. And then you have a little pumpkin down here. There's two or three pumpkins that's down at the bottom. There are 19 colors. You have a schematic here on both sides, the top left and the bottom right. The actual canvas looks really good. It's going to be clear, easy to see. Um, it is really good and sticky. And with the 19 colors that it has, they are going to be all letters. I don't see where any of these would give me a problem on the actual symbols itself. The table does have the DMC numbers on it, which is really helpful. It's torn right there, but that's not going to hurt anything. Um, it does come with your standard toolkit. And then let's look at the colors. Now, the colors on here, I don't know if I mentioned it is 40 by 40. The colors, let's see, it does have the DMC. That's what I wanted to look and see. So let's open this. And have some more crinkling again. These are gorgeous colors. Very, very pretty. On the bags, it has the number of the schematic. So this is 01. 321 is going to be the DMC number. And then A5645, that's going to correspond with the number that is on the kit there. So again, if you keep your drills separate, you can go and easily find them. But these are very fallish colors. So I want to do this one in November. So that will be the next one that I kit up once I finish my Patriotic Gnome to be able to take to work with me. That orange is gorgeous, number 721. And so is that yellow. It's one of my favorite yellows with DMC, 728. And then I love blues anyway. Any kind of blue I love. So these are very fallish colors. This is going to be really pretty. Paint Some Way has some really nice canvases. And it's a dis they're a discount company. So if you're looking for a discount company, this one is really good. I am not affiliated with Paint Someway in any way. Um, they are just very nice to send me every now and then um, some paintings to review. So there's that one. And I have one more. I will put underneath my description, I will put the links to the ones that I actually purchased if you're interested. So let's move this over to the side. I'm going to have things everywhere in a minute. I haven't had any problems with Paint Some Way raveling because it is not stitched or anything around the edges, but I've not had any problems. Usually with these, the smaller ones, I don't put in a frame anyway. Um, normally, I will just put them in my portfolio but I haven't had any problems whatsoever. This one I thought were, was really cute. Um, they are little snow penguins. And I just wanted something that was, you know, it wasn't necessarily Christmassy, but wintry. So I can do this one in either December or January, or even February, this would work and it would be, you know, perfect to do. Um, it, is an, it is a 35 by 35, which is kind of an odd um, size. It is 22 colors. All of these are rounds, by the way. I did not mention that. This one is nice and sticky. It also has the table with the symbols and the DMC numbers on the table on the actual canvas on both sides, the left and the right. 
These do have letters and numbers and a couple of symbols. I don't see any issues with any of these either. Most of these are going to be easy to see. And then the color for this one, this one's going to be darker color since it is winter. And the little thumbnail, I'll show you what that looks like too. Here's a little thumbnail, so that's really cute there. And again, we're going to have the same toolkit that we've had before. Move that out of the way. This one does not have the DMC numbers on the bags, but the DMC codes are on the actual table. So that will be okay. Once I kit down, I'll just have to look at the little table to determine what the DMC number is. It does have V1196, which corresponds to the number on the canvas. So that's good. There's not very many colors. I hope there's going to be enough. I have not ran out of colors from this company before. There's more in this one, number 11, which is 820. There's not any ABs or specials in this one. I can always add some if I want to. I usually don't. That's a really pretty, it's kind of a, it looks kind of white when you're looking at it on camera, but it's actually a really light pale blue. So those are the colors. And we also have this one, these three that were not attached. So that's gonna be really cute to do as well. So this is what I've gotten. I'm gonna show you again. I think this one's going to be fun. I may have my daughter do this one and then I will sew the two together. But I have the cute little stocking. I have the fall here and then winter. So I've kind of covered my basis for the rest of the month in this year and early part of next year. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a like, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. That really helps um, me to see that others are enjoying the content, and I will continue to do the same type of content um, in the future. Thanks so much, and until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye. <music>